If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on everyone? My name's Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on another video. And also make sure you hit that like button because it really does go a long way in helping out the channel. Lastly, if you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, make sure to click the link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. So one of the things that makes NEO so hard to value is that the company has so many different things going on. I mean, if you tell somebody that you think NEO could be going to $200 within X amount of time, they look at you like you're crazy and they're like, do you see where the market cap is right now? In my opinion, there's a lot more room to grow to go for NEO and a lot more room to grow, we'll say, if you actually look at the fundamentals. What they don't understand, in my humble opinion, is that NEO is so much more than a car company. I mean, think about it. They have a stake in a battery asset management company they're venturing into e-commerce, there's the Neo Life brand, etc. I could go on and on. Um, even what I'm about to talk about in today's video, which is um, XPT Motors, a subsidiary of Neo that's 100% owned by Neo. And President Lee Hong Quinn said a long time ago that XPT Motors is owned by Neo, but it will also operate independently of Neo. So that sparks some ideas with me, but first we're gonna do a quick recap of what XPT Motors is because I haven't talked about it in a long time and there might be some of you who have who are just tuning into the channel or didn't get the chance to catch that video. So I personally think Neo is playing their cards right with the XPT Motor business. Um, like I said, XPT Motors is 100% owned by Neo. They make the electric driving systems for Neo's electric vehicles. Now back in 2020 there was a little bit of controversy around neo and tesla a little bit of drama william lee basically said that we will never see a neo vehicle uh with a single motor with a single electric motor a lot of people took that to mean that he was talking about tesla we all know that there's a certain iteration of the model 3 that only has um one electric motor and um william lee says that people and obviously that's a cheaper version so William Lee says that they are not going to do that to cut cost. Since that statement President Lee Hong Quinn has come out and uh, corrected the perception that was out there in the media uh, basically saying that a single motor is okay for uh, cheaper cars not for luxury car makers. The reason and and then they also talked about it from a safety perspective. The reason why he said the reason why an airplane has two engines is in case one fails uh, a car should be the same and they're taking that approach when it comes to neo they're taking that approach when it comes to xpt motors uh it looks like so far so hopefully that sets the stage on xpt motors it was made out to be this no corner cutting technologically advanced electric motor company that is owned by neo but before i get into why i think the company could be a major avenue of growth for neo we want to understand is the company does it actually like live up to the hype is the company as high quality as they say it is is it as groundbreaking as it's been made out to be so according to miit data total three and one electric driving systems installed in 2020 was about 1.3 million now to put that in context neo only delivered 43.7k cars so 1.3 million total electric driving systems installed in 2020 and neo only delivered 43.7k cars and obviously when i say installed i'm talking about the market so basically what i'm saying is that you can imagine that a small chunk of these motors um went into neo's cars so obviously they're they're they are operating independently of neo since neo like we say all the time on this channel is still a growing niche automaker vast majority of xpt's motors are actually in a whole bunch of different car companies so with that xpt ranked third out of all electric drive system suppliers and they had a 17.1% market share, and that's really great. And to top things off, the company grew by 108.7% in 
year over year. So for me, so far, it's safe to say that XPT Motors lives up to the hype. And on top of that, if you need more evidence, this is actually just common sense. Their technology is part of NEO vehicles. NEO has ranked as one of the most high quality cars on the JD quality report. So, so anyways, now that we got that out of the way, here's where I see the opportunity. As Kathy Wood said, the writing is on the wall. Electric vehicles are the future. China wants to get rid of gas cars. We see um, that green is a bigger trend across the globe. Different governments are putting policies in place uh, to get rid of gas cars. But the problem here is there's already a ton of these older automakers who have already been in the game. Well, you're not going, well, China's making it harder and harder for you to sell your cars. You've made investments in um, internal combustion engine technology for the next 10 years. What do you do? Do you just cut losses on that? And then do you reinvest and uh, try to build up your electric driving system for your cars from the ground up? Or do you semi-consolidate and do you go with a proven company? So I actually think that it will be the latter for a lot of these companies. Companies are just going to use um, technology from a company like XPT Motors for a while until they figure out how they can create their own electric drivetrain. And there's these new companies that want to enter the game. Every day there's a new company coming out of the woodworks. They don't have the technology. I think they go with the company like XPT Motors. And ultimately, I think that long-term, this is another avenue of growth where Neo can shine. So the long-term story for Neo isn't just about how many cars they can produce or deliver, uh, which will probably be exponential as they, you know, disrupt these legacy automakers and the market kind of changes. People are going to want to go with the best product if it comes down to, okay, you can only have an electric car. Who's further ahead? Who has the best technology? Who's giving me the most bang for my buck or value? That's going to be a company like Neo. So we do watch that part closely, but there's all these other avenues in which is going to, which I believe will contribute to Neo's long-term growth and the valuation will continue to stretch in my opinion over time. Of course, that's going to be it for this video. I want to know what you guys think about XPT motors. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll link the free discord in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.